So Fallout 4 just received a new update on PC and on Xbox One. We can be pretty confident this is actually laying the framework for some new Creation Club releases, probably something we'll see tomorrow or in the next few days. I'll have a full video on that stuff when it is released. But also with this update, we have a few details about what that might be, and I'll kind of explain why I think this is going to be new Creation Club releases. So first and foremost, why I think this is Creation Club stuff? Well, on Xbox One and PS4, the update's actually 2 gigabytes and some change. On PC, it's only going to be 600 megabytes. One of the reasons for this is that on Xbox One and PS4, you still have to download the full files for Creation Club stuff even if you don't purchase it yet. It used to be like this on PC, but a later update actually fixed this so it doesn't happen anymore. At least not the full files. I think some of the frameworks and things like that you still have to download on your game. Like everyone has to download it. But the file size differences for consoles versus PC of this update definitely makes it seem like it is Creation Club. In addition, Fallout4.ccc, this is a file that you do have on your computer. If if you are on PC, basically listing all of the different things in Creation Club, got a few new entries. One is going to be slocum.esl. This is something that we talked about in the past. More or less, it seems like it's going to be a Slocum's Joe workshop pack. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I think it might just be of actual Slocum's Joe. This is like a chain donut shop that you can find in the Commonwealth, or at least one of those locations in the Commonwealth. Above ground, again, it is like a coffee or donut shop, but below ground, that's where the interesting part comes in. It's actually the location of the switchboard, a kind of secret spying base where the government, before the bombs dropped, was using to spy on the local area. Then later on, before the events of Fallout 4 take place, the railroad was inhabiting it. It did recruit Pam there. Pam being a supercomputer that was trying to predict when the bombs would drop. And then after that, the Institute did take it over finally, and that's how you find it in this current state. Regardless, obviously, there's a few different ways they could go here. Is it Slocum's Joe, like the chain restaurant? Are we going to have a bunch of hot dog and donut stands you could place around settlement mode? Or is it going to be that spying equipment? Maybe it'll be a mix of these. We don't really know, but I have my money on. We're going to get some new settlement objects in one of those two categories. And we also do have some more settlement stuff. We do have the arcade cabinets pack. This is something we have had leaked in the past. It seems like this is going to also add in some new settlement objects that are playable arcade cabinets. Fallout 4 has obviously had a few games in it, like little mini games that you can play either on your Pip-Boy or on some of the different terminals around the map and I think this is just going to be more of that. Still pretty cool and exciting, but not really my cup of tea. Then we actually get into the really interesting part, and that's going to be tunnelsnakes.esm. The other two files I did show you were .esls. That's been everything we've gotten in Creation Club so far. If you remember back to when Creation Club first came out, a lot of people were up in arms about how no big quest mods would be coming through Creation Club because of the file limitations through .esls. Think of ESLs as like a DVD disc and .esms as a Blu-ray disc. .esls can only hold so much information while .esms, which most mods are shipped as, most DLCs are shipped as, do hold a lot more data. But that's confirmed in the past and we're actually getting a confirmation now with this new file that they aren't going to be exclusively using ESLs and they will be using ESMs also. But again, the reason you should be excited for this is because ESMs hold more data, which kind of suggests that the ESL didn't have enough capacity. So whatever this Tunnel Snakes mod is, is going to be fairly large scale. I imagine it will add in the Tunnel Snakes in one way, shape or form and a few of their different assets. That Tunnel Snake jacket will invariably be making a return with this new Creation Club file, but then and the question remains, how much more stuff are we getting with this? It's a pretty big file if it is using an ESM, and I guess I don't really tell, but I would be kind of hyped for this. I don't want to overhype this because, you know, a lot of Creation Club has been fairly disappointing, but this is different. This is something we have not gotten for Fallout 4 or Skyrim just yet, and it could be kind of a big deal. Even beyond that, one other thing that is actually in this Fallout 4.ccc file is the Mauler. This, of course, being something that did appear in Fallout 3. It's actually been in there since a previous update, but there hasn't been anything done with it. It has been removed or changed in any way, so that might be something we are also seeing with this new iteration of Creation Club releases. And yeah, it's pretty much it. That's a Fallout 4 update. I think it's something to actually be kind of excited for. I, again, will be having a full video on all the new releases as soon as it comes out. I'll be paying attention over the next 48 hours for this. I would definitely think this is going to come out tomorrow, because it's probably not going to come out on a Friday in case anything goes wrong with it. A lot of people at Bethesda do go home on Fridays. They don't work weekends. So I would say Thursday morning-ish is probably when this will be released so they can bug fix anything if they need to and have Friday just in case. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, again, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later.